Mobility adds days to your life and life to your days. So join me in this invigorating full body mobility routine for beginners. Designed to improve range of motion, reduce stiffness, and enhance overall mobility, this easy to follow workout is perfect for all levels and ages. In less than 20 minutes, I'll guide you through a series of gentle yet effective exercises that target key areas of the body, helping you move with greater ease and comfort. Whether you're looking to enhance your range of motion, improve your sports performance, or simply seeking a rejuvenating routine, this video is your go-to resource and can be done every day to help you feel your best. All you need is a mat and a positive attitude. So get ready to feel incredible, meet me in your exercise space, and let's get mobile together. Let's begin standing. I recommend doing this routine barefoot if you can, because we'll really be working on the feet and ankles. So take those shoes and socks off and meet me with your feet hip distance apart. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Good, again, inhale and exhale. Reach your arms up over your head and I just want you to stretch right to left, getting some lateral side bending, feeling a great stretch from the fingertips all the way down through the waist. Reach your arms like you're climbing a big rope and feel that extra length with every rep. Mm, I already feel better and we're just getting started. Good, one more reach each side. And relax the arms. Roll your shoulders down and back, and let's just take some ankle prances. Rising up onto the ball of one foot, lifting up to both, and lowering down. Think about lifting your head up through the ceiling, getting taller and longer. Don't worry if you fall over. We're working our balance here as we mobilize through our ankles. Helps to engage your core. Good, one more on each side. And relax. From here, I want you to keep the balls of your feet on the floor, but lift all 10 toes up and lower them down. Wonderful. Shift your weight forward. Feel your toes grip on the floor and then back. Let's try that again. All 10 toes up, lower them down, shift your weight forward and shift your weight back. Last time, toes up, toes down, lean forward and lean back. Now I want you to play the piano with your toes. Don't need it to be perfect. Just make some music with those feet. Good. And relax. Let's transition to the mat. Have a seat on the floor and set your legs out in front of you. From here, you're just going to cross one ankle over the knee Take your opposite hand and I just want you to circle your ankle around manually, just like your, your own physical therapist, giving those ankles some TLC. Switch directions. Feels good, doesn't it? Relax. Now hook your arm under your thigh Use the opposite arm to hang onto the shin to stabilize things. Flex your foot and draw a big circle with your ankle. Trying not to scrunch your toes. Keep them long here. Good job. Reverse your circle. You might hear a few snap crackle pops. That's okay. 
That's why we're here, to get rid of those tight muscles. Relax, switch sides. So crossing the ankle over the knee, using your opposite hand to take that ankle around in a big range of motion. You can do this exercise while you're watching TV, switch sides, while you're hanging out with your kids on the floor, playing with toys. Movement exists everywhere, if you look for it. Relax, hook the arm under the thigh, stabilize the shin, flex your ankle, and draw a big circle. These are called ankle cars. They're really great to do as regularly as possible. Reverse your circle. Nice long toes here. Good, and relax. Let's move on to our knees. If you need a cushion to cushion your knee, go grab it and then come on back to this video. So you'll take one leg forward as if you're going to do a lunge. Other knee is on the mat. And I just want you to drive your knee forward, keeping your heel on the floor. So first we're feeling a nice stretch through the Achilles here and maybe the front of the ankle. But we're just going to move from this position back to a taller lunge and then forward. Breathing as you do so here. So coming up and driving forward. Nice job, last one in the center. Now I want you to drive your knee towards your pinky toe. So you're going to take your knee over your pinky toe, back to center, and do it again. Are you breathing? Let's do the knee over the big toe now. So knee goes over the big toe, and in. Two more passes. Go at your own pace. and come back. Now let's draw a circle. So you're going to go knee to big toe, pinky toe, and up, and then pinky toe, big toe, and up. Good. Let's do one more. And relax. Same thing, second side. So other foot steps in front, cushion your knee if you need to. Coming up onto that kneeling position and we're going to drive our knee forward. Great stretch for the Achilles here. Breathing and then come up. Good, two more in the center. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. Good. Let's take the knee over the pinky toe. Three passes here. And remember, the more you practice this routine, the better each exercise will feel. Good. Big toe, here we go. And up. So meditative, isn't it? All right, let's do a circle. So towards the big toe, pinky toe, and up. Pinky toe, big toe, and up. One more. So circling around, and up and back. Whew. You made it. Good job. We're moving on to our hips. So we're starting with just some windshield wipers. You'll hook your heels into the floor, bring your hands back behind you, and I just want you to let one knee knock inwards, come through the center, 
and other knee. So we're internally and externally rotating the hips. If you've done mobility routines with me before, you have absolutely seen the windshield wiper. I do this one a lot and I love it. It's so good. It's a great warm up too. All right, now let's meet each other on our forearms. So we're going into a hip car. You'll drop down to your forearms. You want to keep your core engaged so your spine stays long and neutral. We're trying to work with the hips, not the lower back. So let's take one leg. You're going to flex your foot. From here, I want you to kick your heel towards the ceiling, feeling your glute and hamstring engage. Good. Now you're going to open your knee out to the side like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Bring the knee as close as you can towards your tricep, bring it in towards the mat, and then reverse that direction. So out into your fire hydrant, internally rotate, bringing the heel towards the ceiling, abs are still nice and tight, and then back down. Good, do it one more time in each direction. So we're lifting up, squeezing the glute, feeling that hamstring, opening the hip up, engaging core and hips, bringing the knee as close as we can to that tricep and down, and then reverse your direction. So out to the side, up to the ceiling, work that range of motion, my friend, and then back down. Ooh, nice job. Come to your hands and just take a few easy circles. Not as in <laughs> intentional as the one on your forearm and then reverse those circles. So just kind of feeling, ooh, okay, range of motion. You might even feel a lot of muscles work. That's a great thing. Mobility actually takes some sweat and effort. Let's switch sides. So same exercise, side two. Dropping down to your forearms, abs are engaged here. We're gonna keep our spine long as we flex the foot, reach it towards the ceiling as high as you can without arching through your low back. Open the hip out to the side. Bring it all the way up, 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 towards the tricep and in. Reverse your circle, out to the side, internally rotate, squeeze that glute, bring it up high and down. Whoo, sweating, that's great. Here we go. Lift it up, open it out, bring it in and close and down towards the mat, out to the side. I hope, hope you're shaking, I know I am. Up to the ceiling and then lower it back down. Propping up onto your hands now. Just loosey-goosey circles. Don't think about it too much. Just find more freedom in the hips and reverse your circle. Oh yes, we are helping our hips be happy today. That's what's happening, baby and relax. All right, let's come to a tabletop position again and work a little bit on the spine. So I want you to imagine that you cannot move your upper body. We're only moving through the low back here. So we're going to do a slow cat-cow. You're going to tilt your tailbone, dropping your belly down towards the mat and arching your low back and then Tilt your tailbone down towards the mat, pulling your abs in and feeling your sacrum and tailbone drop towards the floor. Good, try that again. So belly down, tailbone up, and then belly in, tailbone down. You might not go that far and that's okay. Then come back to neutral and I just want you to draw circles. Like you've got a magic marker on your bottom and you're trying to draw a big circle on the wall behind you. 
and then reverse your circles. Ooh, yeah. Taking care of that beautiful lower back of yours. Isn't that nice? Good, and relax. From here, we're going to sit in a mermaid-like position. So one leg is in, the other leg is tucked. And you're going to lift up nice and tall and rotate towards your front leg, placing your hands on the mat. You might not rotate that far, and that is okay. But what I want you to do is pull your belly button in, keeping your spine nice and long. Now, some of my clients like to bend their elbows. I prefer to keep my hands on the mat and keep my arms long. Play around with it and see what feels best in your body today. You're going to take your outside arm, reach it up towards the ceiling, and then thread it underneath the arm on the floor. Ooh, getting what we call thoracic rotation, T-spine mobility. Do it again. Reach that arm up, twist that arm under. Oh, it's so good. One more time. Good, and twist. Come back to center and let's switch sides. So we're just going to take our mermaid position. I've always wanted to be a mermaid. <laughs> Lift up tall, twist towards the front leg and place your hands on the floor. Breathing. I always find that I get a little more of a twist on one side. Cause you know, human body, not symmetrical. And then from here, let's try that T-spine rotation. So outside arm is going to reach up towards the sky, thread the needle. Oh, so good. And lift up and under. Last one, lifting up and coming under. Nice job, return to center. And let's move back to our feet. Moving on to our shoulders. With your feet hip distance apart, take your hands behind your head. Press your elbows back and feel an amazing stretch in your chest. Then reach your arms over your head in a big V position. Flip your thumbs forward with your palms back. Draw a big circle with your hands and then bring your hands together behind your upper back. Good, then reverse your circle. Reach your palms backwards, reach them up, flip and take the hands behind your head. Don't think about it too much, but I want you to work through this big circle, taking your arms around and up and through opening through all of those tight spots in the upper body, from the typing and the driving. Let's just let that feel better. Good. Last one here. And then relax your arms down by your sides. Bring your chin towards your chest. Take your ear over to one shoulder working through your neck. Roll the chin towards the chest and ear to other shoulder. Good, a few more. Letting your arms drop away from your ears. Feeling as if you're holding on to heavy weights and they're anchoring your arms long towards the floor. Make sure you're breathing and taking time to be proud of yourself for showing up for your body and health today. Amazing, return the neck to neutral and then just 
move your jaw right to left. Yes, it's weird. <laughs> it might feel weird. Promise you, it's good for you. And hopefully funny too. And relax. Last thing, we're just gonna take a roll down. Inhale your arms up. Take them down by your sides, chin to chest, bend your knees if you need to, and bring your hands down towards the floor. Feel a stretch through your hamstrings and your low back. Take a deep breath in and out. And then from here, slowly one vertebra at a time, Round yourself all the way back up to standing. Rolling your shoulders down and back. And notice how you feel. I'm your certified health coach, Caroline Jordan, and I loved sharing this full body mobility routine with you today. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share this routine with someone who could also benefit from a little bit of mobility in their life. And to support this work and join my exclusive community for a lot of bonus content, consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness is where we can get started spending more time staying healthy together today. I'd love to have you. Thanks so much for joining me, and I can't wait to see you again soon at CarolineJordanFitness.com.